You're watching a Love Jack video, where I show you how to create, share, and connect through art. This is Make Art to Mail, with just a few supplies and some time to sit and connect. I will show you how to create a handmade card that is sure to put a smile on someone's face. We believe art has the power to make you happy. So let's make some today and mail some happiness to a friend. This month's creative challenge is lettering. And inspired by the Write On campaign, each video this month will include a phrase to prompt you to write about a specific subject. The Write On campaign encourages you to write a letter every day for the entire month. I will link all the details below. It is never too late to join in on the fun. This week's phrase is blank reminds me of you. Sometimes there's just that one thing that always reminds you of a friend. It could be an object, a smell, a time of day, a time of year, a holiday. What's that one thing that always reminds you of your friend? This is a great time to tell them about it. It could be straightforward or it could be quirky. For instance, hydrangeas remind me of my mother-in-law. She has this great big hydrangea plant outside her house. And now, every time I see a hydrangea, I think of her. I think she would like to know that information. Inside the card, let your friend know why that thing reminds you of them and how often you think about them. I'm sure they'll love knowing this information. And I know we're all about snail mail here, but I'm giving you permission to send a text. Next time you think about something, send them a quick text. You can even take a picture of that thing you see that reminds you of your friend and send that along as well. Here's the thing. People like to know you're thinking about them, especially the people you think about often. But don't think that means you can't then write them a letter later. It's always fun to get snail mail in your mailbox and it's just another reason to make your friend happy. So send the text and send the letter. For this card, you'll need cardstock, an envelope, your favorite alphabet stickers, an alphabet stencil, and some felt tip markers. This card is going to say, blank reminds me of you. So I'm using these fun alphabet stickers that I got at a store because I have a problem and I like to buy alphabet stickers. And I am using them as inspiration for the rest of the card. So if you notice, they're all kind of outlined and then has a fun pattern filling them in. So I thought we could do the same type of thing with our stencil. I'm gonna start with reminds me of you and then put the word on top of that. So I'm gonna take a scrap piece of paper and just spell it out. So I could figure out which is the middle letter, which is the I. Now, the other thing I should kind of figure out is what colors I wanna do. So I'm gonna go orange, purple, light blue. Okay, we're gonna go with those colors. Now, on my thing, I'm just gonna circle each one so that it's a pattern. So I just went through and circled what color I wanted each letter to be so it was kind of in a pattern. I'm gonna start with the middle letter, which is an I. When I'm using a stencil, I like to use the letter next to it to kind of help me make sure that it's level. So I just kind of put the I inside that M, that I could do the N. And once I get all the letters traced, I'm gonna go back and fill in the design. And I keep going back and referring to my little cheat sheet to make sure I'm doing the right color. Oh my goodness, we're just making it. I was afraid for a second the R wasn't gonna fit, but it does. Now go back here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the F is in the middle thing. So I'm gonna line the F up, which is line the F up <laughs> um, right under the I. So looking at this now, I can tell you one thing. It's not gonna fit. M E won't fit there. M E. It's just not gonna fit. Instead of losing all hope, I'm gonna use my stickers instead because they're smaller. Looking at here, I'm gonna do Y-O-U and I'm gonna do an exclamation point because I feel like it will make it space out a little bit easier. Reminds me of you, that's a saying. Now the top part is here is what reminds me of you. And I'm gonna give this card to my mom and shopping reminds me of her. She's a great shopper. So I'm gonna do my little cheat sheet again. Put the P in the middle. Oh wait, that's not right. One, two, three, one, two, three. The two P's should be centered. Love that thing, on. I like just thinking about what stories that I remember of shopping with my mom as a kid um, that I'm gonna include in this card. 
So now, this kind of, I probably could have shifted it a little, but I'm gonna do an exclamation point here because I wanted to say, shopping, reminds me of you. And then also a little center it. Here are a couple of reasons I love using these stickers to make cards. One, I love stickers, I love buying them. So using them to make a card is another reason to actually use them instead of just thinking they're pretty, so buying them just to have them. Making it into a card is awesome. I love the, all the different fonts and colors and typography that they offer on stickers now and it really can inspire you to create some other things. So based off of these fun designs, I'm gonna fill in these letters. So. I'm gonna try to just do one that I see on here that I like. This is, I like these swirls and it's not so close, so I'm gonna do these swirls. By having both the stickers and the stencils on there, I really feel like it looks designed and somewhat professional. Even if you're just a beginner like I am, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it still looks good and it flexes your creative muscles. This is also really fun pattern play, and by doing this now, it might inspire you to do something else later because you tried this out. I also think a fun weekend project would be to go through and make a list of all the people you want to send birthday cards to this year and then simply use stickers to write their names in the front of the envelopes. Then when their birthday comes, you already have the envelope started and if you want to take it one step further, you could even address the envelope and put a stamp on it. Then when their birthday comes around, all you have to do is write the card. And now since there's a little bit of space on the bottom, I'm gonna see if I have enough letters to do mom. I have two M's here and one O here, so I'm gonna add mom on it to personalize it. Start with the O so it's centered. Cute, right? So now I'm gonna do a similar thing for the envelope. Let's see, I'm gonna look at my letters, see if I could do her whole name in it. I'm gonna do her first name in stickers and her last name in stencils. I always kind of look ahead to see like, I'm choosing the H, but I was seeing what color Y's I have and making sure you don't do the same color right next to each other. And if you want, you could do the whole name in stickers or you could do the whole name in stencils. I'm just gonna do the combo. I think this filling it in part is my favorite because I get to choose what kind of little pattern. It's a fun way to play with patterns. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. I'm gonna use my Oscar de la Renta sticker on there because he's a fashion designer and we love shopping. Although, to be honest, we were more shopping at like Fashion Bug and Deb Shop than any store that would sell Oscar de la Renta. But you know, still fun. Cute. This video is dedicated to Lauren Hom. She is a hand lettering genius. I learned about her through Amy Tangerine and one of her YouTube videos. Since then, I've been following her on Instagram and I signed up for her mailing list. She creates the most beautiful illustrations. She also does these fun weekly challenges where she encourages you to try out lettering with specific prompts. Follow her on Instagram to see all the amazing work her community creates. And you can subscribe to her newsletter to participate in the fun. Thank you, Lauren, for making the world a brighter place, sharing your creativity and encouraging ours. And thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoy these videos and it has given you an excuse to try out lettering of your own. I truly enjoy creating, sharing, and connecting with you. See you next time.